Welcome to Chemistry Tutorial 360. Today we would like to draw the Lewis dose structure for phosphorus trihydride or phosphine, right? However, to draw the Lewis structure for phosphorus trihydride, at first we have to find out the valence electron for phosphorus and hydrogen. So look at here, the atomic number of phosphorus is 15. So if you do the electronic configuration, you will get this. Here, the outermost shell is third shell, that is 3s3p. So we know that uh, the electrons, uh, we know that the outermost shell is called valence shell, and the electrons in valence shell is called valence electron. So here we have 2 plus 3, that is 5 valence electron, and the highest principal quantum number n equal to 3. That is, highest principal quantum number indicates the valence shell. Look at here, we have another way to find out the valence electron for phosphorus. You know that the group number tells us the number of valence electron uh, for the element. Look at here, phosphorus is the element of group 5a or 15. So if you delete the second stages, then you will get 5. That is the atomic, uh, the, uh, that is the valence electron of phosphorus is 5. Or phosphorus is the element of group 15. So if you delete the first digit, then you will get the 5, that is uh, the valence electron of phosphorus is 5. Now we will find out the valence, of valence electron of hydrogen. You know that the atomic number of hydrogen is 1, so the first shell is the valence shell. That is, here the principal, highest principal quantum number is 1. And for n equal to 1, we have one valence electron for hydrogen, right? Look at here. We have another way to find out the valence electron of hydrogen. You know that, you know that hydrogen is element of group 1a. That is why it will have one valence electron or group 1, that is one valence electron. So now in pH 3 or phosphorus trihydride or phosphine, phosphorus has 5 valence electron and hydrogen, each hydrogen atom has 1 valence electron. But here we have 3 hydrogen atom. So, in totally, in pH 3, we have 8 valence electron, right? So, now in the third step, we have to find out the central atom. Look at here, central atom is that type of atom that is single and that has lower electronegativity. So here, the single atom is phosphorus. And so phosphorus is the uh, central atom and hydrogen is always the outer atom. You have to remember that hydrogen is always the outer atom. So in the fourth step, I have to connect uh, central atom with outer atom, right? So every dot represent every every line represent two valence electron. Right? Look at here. Uh, here we have you just two, four, six, six valence electron, and we need. Uh, we have, but totally we have eight valence electron, right? So look at here. Here we have used six. So we have two valence electron, two valence electron left, right? Left. So this valence electron uh, will come at first outer atom then central atom that is look at here every here every atom here outer atom is hydrogen that is hydrogen can share maximum two valence electron so duet is complete for every hydrogen atom so these two valence electron now come over phosphorus. Look at here. This hydrogen atom has complete 
completed its octet right so this phosphorus has two four six eight so also this phosphorus has complete it octets right look at here this phosphorus has eight valence electron this hydrogen has two this hydrogen has two and this hydrogen has two so this is the Lewis dot structure for phosphine or pH3 now let me uh, now let me find out the formal charge for phosphorus and hydrogen formal charge equal to valence electron minus dot attached minus line attached look at here for formal charge of for formal charge of phosphorus the valence electron of phosphorus from electron configuration is 5 minus dot attached to phosphorus is 2 minus line attached to phosphorus is 1 2 3 so basically we have 0 formal charge for phosphorus now we will find out the we will find out the formal charge for hydrogen the valency electron of hydrogen is 1 minus dot attached to this hydrogen is 0 minus line attached to this hydrogen is 0 so basically we have 0 formal charge so every hydrogen in pH3 is symmetrical or identical so every hydrogen will have 0 formal charge so this is the uh, we know that base Lewis structure is that structure in which most of the atoms will have zero formal charge so here in this case all atoms have zero formal charge so this is the best Lewis structure for pH3 or phosphine I will have a blog post in the description box of this video you can read that blog post to get more ideas so thank you for watching this video be well